Welcome back, Conius here. Today I'm flying from Palisios, Texas to Galveston, Texas. My flight level will be 1500 feet. I haven't set up autopilot yet, so I'll do that right now. I uh, give it a default heading, set the flight level. There's thunder outside, so we might have a storm going on. Turn on navigation, turn autopilot on later. <laughs> All right, I think we're ready to take off. Parking brake off. Oh yeah, there was a big lightning flash just now. And let's get going. Landing gear up. The flaps up. So we'll go outside in a little while and explore this thunderstorm. So let me just get us on course. Houston Center KH-347 is Type Beach Craft King Air 1 miles west of X-Ray Sierra 35. Request flight following. Alright, autopilot on. KH-347 Houston Center. Yaw dampener on. Flight level change. Squawk 5546 KH-347. KH-347 radar contact 1 miles northwest of X-ray Sierra and tree 5, 1,300 feet. Altimeter tree 0 decimal 0, 05. Okay, I think Copy we're set. KH-347. We've gone to altitude altitude hold mode because we we're already at pretty close to that altitude. Uh, let me grab my three or, uh, Xbox controller. <laughs> All right, let's make sure that works. The game does this pause sometimes when you change the Bluetooth. Okay, yeah, now it's working. All right. I had it turned on before I started, but it timed out, I guess. Um, Alright, well anyway, let me reset the view. Let's go outside. Okay, we're leveled off. We're heading up too fast to speed, so I'm going to pull back on the engine. I'm not sure why we're leaning. Seems like we're kind of leaning a little bit here. Might be an effect of a crosswind and staying on heading. Be nice to ca catch one of these uh, lightning flashes. Pretty spotty, it's not flashing all the time. If we're lucky, we'll catch one. Hey, there's the sun. I saw something flash on the screen as I went by. Yeah, that just happened again. I'm not sure what that is. It's like the view does something funny. Maybe I need to change my graphics settings. Alright, I'm going to reset this view, and now I'll switch to the drone. Give it some speed. I'm hearing that uh, thunder again. One of the things I remember about Texas 
was a huge flat land and you could look around 360 degrees and if you looked far enough away you would see lightning flashes everywhere. This was probably around this time of the year, I don't know, fall, long time ago. I used to work for a company that was headquartered in Dallas, and so I had to come to Texas a couple times a year. A funny uh, Doppler sound stuff going on there. Alright, well there's really not much to see here. Well, I saw a flash over that direction. Basically just all this agricultural stuff. Not sure if the USA update has made much of a difference in this area or not. Probably not. And there was the thunder. I hear birds. Alright, well maybe we can go up above and look down on the lightning effects. I don't know if we'd see anything from up here or not. Uh, I saw some lighting in a cloud top a moment ago, so we'll probably just see flashes in cloud tops. <laughs> Alright, well I better go check on the plane. Altitude is fine, headache's fine, engine's fine, everything's normal. We're back to the drone. I've been lucky so far on my learning to fly tour that I haven't encountered much weather, so this is about as much weather as I've encountered. Early on I was running into smoky conditions due to the California wildfires. Reset the drone and switch to the external view. Everything looks normal. We're low to the ground intentionally because I wanted to see what things look like. And let's go put Mexico off in that direction. I had intended to actually fly over it, over the coast, but didn't seem to be that much interesting to look at. All 
Alright, go back inside. So, I mean, as weather goes for flying, this is pretty mild. The plane's not really being jostled around very much. It's on the warm side, so any weather we run into is going to be a little energetic, I guess. Still happy with this plane. I'm getting better at landing it. My goal was to get to the point where I had nice smooth landings. You can see the autopilot adjusting trim here. That's exactly why the plane is so stable. So we can see the trim adjustment, that's um, affecting our elevation. What I don't see is evidence of how we're staying stable from rolling, but uh, that's probably not communicated back to the yoke. I would expect that to show up in the yoke term. interesting view, getting a little bit of sunlight peeking through the weather. I see a waterway, we're sort of following this uh, snaking waterway. I'm going to go outside and take a look at that. First reset the view, and go outside. Probably not going to get any reflections from the sun off of that. I do see the water waves. There's a wide angle. You can see the curvature of the lens and optics. Not sure what city or town this is. Looks kind of industrial. Alright, I'm going to reset the external view. Take us long to get to the airport at the speed we're going. So it's not a very pretty day. It was more interesting when we had the weather, the thunder and lightning going. So it's nice to see what's here. Seeing a little bit more of the Gulf of Mexico and the coastline over there. I suppose I really ought to go investigate with the drone. I reset the drone, so I've got to set the speed back. I'll stay connected to the plane. And let's go.
All right, so a bunch of interesting waterways here. I don't know if this is realistic or generated from AI looking at satellite data. So yeah, it's a coast. It's not uh, that interesting really to look at in its current state. I don't know if what this, you know, how this matches uh, reality. Don't see any sign of, you know, boats or anything. There's a bridge, interesting. Alright, well it's kind of interesting here. Um, looks like this would, be a, this would be a really pretty place to live, be able to go to the beach anytime you want. Wait, is that a little itty bitty house on the beach? I guess that's what that is, okay. <laughs> Maybe it's the size of a hot dog stand or something. Probably a uh, city building or something. like maybe apartment buildings but again I don't really know how realistic this is um, when you're playing in 4k you don't get photogrammetry data at least I haven't yet because I guess if they don't have the high-res variety in full high def I saw a lot of realistic uh, buildings and places but not so much in 4k but it looks nice I mean it's very detailed but does not seem to match reality as much as you know with the uh, photogrammetry data. I'm hoping they're going to change that and get some high-res data. These uh, streets and stuff here look kind of strange. I guess that makes sense. I don't know if they have people driving out on the beach or not. Is that car going to go? Oh yeah, it sort of hit the beach and then turned around and went back the other way. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, this isn't that interesting, really. Let me just advance forward. Uh, let me check on the plane. Okay, we're getting close. So I am going to take over for autopilot. So let's first of all go back inside. Make sure the view is reset. Okay, I'll disengage autopilot. Okay. Alright, so the co-pilot will soon start talking to the tower. I'm going to start slowing down. Don't really want to lose much altitude. In fact, if anything, I might want to gain a bit for the landing pattern. So let's nose up a bit and burn off some speed that way. KH34711 miles southwest to land. KH347 tower. Enter left base runway 36. Altimeter 30 decimal 06 wind 007 at 20. Alright, we're a little higher than I thought. Enter left base runway 36 KH347. And there's a pattern entrance, so let's head over in that direction, I th think. I see how to get there. Uh, we do need to be going slower though, so let me start throttling back. Um, I'll make my turn and then I'll put the flaps halfway down. I haven't been very good at blindly judging t 
turning for the landing pattern, but I'm going to try this time to do a nice long turn, straighten out, go forward a bit, and then turn the other way, and maybe I'll make it. Okay, so our speed's pretty good at this point. I'm going to throttle back up so we don't lose any more. I will also put the landing gear down um, after I affect the turn. So I'm going to begin turning. I have no idea how close I'm getting to it. I think that's something that over time I'll develop a sense for you know, where I'm at in space given how fast the airplane is going. Um, I don't quite have that yet. Maybe if I look to the right... Okay, I can see it. Alright, so we're sort of parallel to it. I feel like I should head forward a bit before turning. We're sort of kind of in line with the opening. Alright, don't really want to gain any more altitude, so let's level off. Alright, so I think now I can make my turn. I'm just going to guess at what the radius needs to be. Uh, but we'll hopefully see the entrance momentarily, and then it'll give us a clue where to go. I'm going to dethrottle just a little bit more. I feel like we're going pretty fast. Okay, so where is the thing? Okay, well, we're headed in the right direction. Um, yeah, with the automated look right, it's kind of hard to see. If I use the mouse, I can look over. Okay, yeah, there it is. All right, I think we're in good shape. Let me reset the view. And I'll start turning towards it. Uh, I think I will put the landing gear down at this point. Almost in flap range speed wise. So let me go ahead and put the flaps down halfway. And push on the stick, push on the stick. Please don't nose up, please don't nose up. Okay. Yeah, so it's a little hard to judge the entrance in terms of where I need to enter it. Um, oh, I see. Okay. Alright, we're good. So I really just need to turn into it right here. We dropped a lot in altitude. I wasn't paying attention to that. I'm going to throttle up. So I do need to climb a bit to get up there. Okay, there we are right there. All right. Okay, flaps all the way down. Uh, push hard on the stick to keep from going nose up. Give it a little bit more throttle just in case. See where we are throttle wise, or airspeed wise. Um, the landing pattern seems to think we're going at an okay speed. It seemed a little fast to me, but we'll slow down by the time we actually land. Not having much impact from the weather, that's a good thing. Okay, I'm going to dethrottle a bit, see if I can drop some clear to land runway three six. One zero zero seven and two zero. Clear to land runway three six K H three four seven. We're dropping a little bit fast. Uh, we're going to lose some speed on this turn. Um, I'm going to give it just a tad more throttle, just as a precaution. 
It's not a severe turn. There was a right angle turn at a different runway, and so I picked one that was more of a shallow turn. Although it doesn't feel that shallow right now. Okay, I'm watching my speed, watching my tilt angle. And I feel like we're good speed-wise. Uh, we have another turn to make. Coming up. Push the stick because it wants to nose up due to those flaps and our speed. We could probably drop throttle now a little bit. Um, got another turn coming up, so that will... Yeah, we're going too fast, so we do need to slow down. I'm going to drop throttle almost all the way down. And then we'll try to lose some speed in this turn. side. I don't want to go too slow because uh, it's just too dangerous. Yeah, in fact, it's telling us too slow. So that just gets too dangerous. Alright, I think this is the last part and then we can turn right into the runway. Alright, I'm going to drop throttle. Try to get it down there low and keep an eye on it. Do not want to land ahead of the runway. We do have our landing gear down. We do have our flaps all the way down. Our speed is good. Alright, I'm going to give it a little bit more throttle to carry us over because we're not quite at the runway yet. Okay, that might be enough. Drop the throttle back down. And let's just see if... Oh no, I need to go a little bit more. So let's see if we can get here and just hover as long as possible. Hover, hover, hover. Okay, rear wheel. Front wheel. Brakes. Near perfect landing. I think. Alright, let's follow the markers. I am very proud of that landing. I've been having a lot of trouble landing this thing in good weather. And I just did a nice job landing it in... Well, it was worse earlier. Not so bad, but somewhat bad weather. Okay, we're going too fast. We need to put the flaps up. I always forget to do that right away. That's dangerous to be taxing that way. Okay, I'm going to slow us down. We need to get down below 30. KH347, turn next taxiway. Alright, we'll do. We'll do a pivot on the brake and a turn. Alright, that was nice and smooth. Contact ground on 118 decimal 625. Alright, so let's stop, put the parking brake on. 118 decimal 625 for KH347. Now, is he going to contact them or will I? Because sometimes he does it. I request taxi to park. Alright. Ground KH347, request taxi to parking. KH347, taxi to general aviation parking by taxiway Alpha Bravo. Right. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Alpha Bravo KH347. Okay, so I'm primarily using uh, left braking, left brake turning here, and now I'm starting to use the rudder. Really seems to be important to be able to use both well. I, I notice that I can steer much better on the ground when I am using both. I don't know why there's a vehicle in our way here. Um, but I can... Let's go around. And I don't know if my wings are going to clear, but if I, I figure if, I'll, if I go all the way over, I might, might be okay. Go a little fast. Alright, I think we're past that point. 
Now, where do I need to go from here? Okay, I need to go around that airplane and then back. All right. Okay, I'm going to hit that airplane. In fact, I probably just did. Or I hit the guy or something. Okay, well, anyway. Just a game. I still don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go, though. Oh, I see. Huh. Yeah, they put all this stuff in the way, so it's a little hard. I'm gonna... Well, I was gonna say I'm gonna navigate from outside, but I am trying to learn how to do this from inside the plane, so we'll try it that way. Uh, get ready to pivot on the right brake if needed. This is a very tight space. I know I did hit something. I hit the guy with the wing or the, the plane or something, but... Uh, I don't think anything actually got damaged. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, I'm gonna just park in here and not worry about his instructions. As long as I'm here, I'm good. Parking brake. Engine's off. Here we are in Galveston, Texas, on a stormy, dry day, uh, with no more thunder and lightning. And my apologies to the owner of that other plane, and the guy I hit. Alright, let's uh, go in here and turn off the plane. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.